Hi, and welcome back to Spreadsheets. Now that you've done the other two videos that helped you a little bit with formatting and seeing how to use some of the formulas, now we're actually going to do a spreadsheet where we type in formulas to calculate things for us. So if we scroll down again under Tech 3, the Spreadsheets unit, if we come down here we will find the directions for Spreadsheet 2 and the rough copy. So I'm going to go ahead and open up that rough copy and I'm going to open up Spreadsheet 2 and I'm going to pull this one off so that I can come down here to my task view, snap the directions to the left, and go ahead and put the rough copy on the right. Now the first thing you're going to do is the formatting. So for example, this whole first row, I can just click over here, is bold and centered. So I'm going to find bold and I'm going to go to center alignment and I'm going to fix that. Uh, my income and expenses are all bolded. Expenses is centered. So you're going to go through and you're going to do this basic formatting and fix these things. Okay? And that's not everything that needs done, but that's all I'm going to show you at this point. What we really want to look at are our directions down here. Select cells B2 through D14. So here's B. Let me close this. Here's B2, okay, through D, there's D, and down to 14. And with your mouse, uh, and then format them as currency. So we want to come up here and find the format as currency button, click, and now they are all dollars and cents. Click on cell B11 and find the sum of the expenses. So let's find B11. There you go. We want to find a sum of the expenses. So here's our income. So we earned $1,100 in June, but we also had to spend money. Those are our expenses, but we have to spend. We spent $500 on our college savings account. We made a car payment, those kinds of things. So we are going to use the sum feature to add B4 through B10. So I'm going to click here and find your last button that says functions. And if you choose the first one, we've already learned that that means sum on your last assignment. And then we're going to select B4 all the way through B10, the movies. Okay. When I hit enter, it's going to put the total right there. If I click on it up here, it will show the formula is actually what was in there. Now I'm going to go to step six and click on B13 and find the cash surplus. Surplus means what you have left over. So if we earned 1100 but we only spent 1015 we've got some money left over. So we're going to start with an equal sign. Every formula starts with equals. We're going to click on 1100. I'm going to hit the minus sign which is either on my 10 keypad or in the top row numbers, but get used to using your 10 keypad. And then I'm going to click on what I want it to subtract. So really I want to take whatever's up here minus whatever's in this row. I hit enter, I've got $85 left. Okay, step seven says to copy this formula over to the right to these other cells. So I'm going to get on the corner and get that plus sign and drag to the right. Now it added that column and if I look at it here see it's how it says it's adding column C and if I click here it's adding column D. And then I'm going to click and get the plus sign and drag across on that one. Alright so that's how much is left over. Now it says in cell C14 uh, we want the cumulative surplus. In other words, how much have we saved after June and July? So we need to add these two together. So I'm going to type equals and I can also just start to type the word sum and sum pops up and then I just want to highlight these two numbers. So I want to add B13 and C13. Okay, so I've got $270 left after two months. Okay, now I'm going to click in this cell and add the three together. All three months to see what our cumulative means a running total. Cumulative equals, and I'm going to come up here and choose sum, 
and I'm going to click 85 and 185 and what I had left in that one, which I can't quite see, 405. So if I click in the cell, I can always look at the formula. It was adding B through D 13, so B, C, and D. All right, that looks good. So anything else you need to do, I'm sure it tells you to add the borders. Borders are here, and we're using all borders. And there's some shading, and I do want you to please use the colors that I have in the shading, as close as you can get. So basically a light pink color, and a light green color, and a light blue color. That way it's easy to see the numbers up against the shaded background. All right, there you go. Give it a try. <laughs>